How are we doing everybody? This video I'm going to show you how to test an automotive battery as well as an automotive charging system. Now the battery and charging system in this vehicle are good. However, one of my buddies, Ghost, he's having some starting issues with his Yukon. Figured I'd uh, show you guys how to test battery and uh, charging system and uh, help him out. Now, you're going to need a battery tester. I've got a little bit fancy one. You're also going to need a multimeter. And if your battery terminals are dirty, get one of these tools here. I'll throw a link in the description where you can get one. Now, I like this one because it actually scrapes off a little bit of the lead on the battery terminals. And then, you're also going to need some uh, ignition and battery sealer. I just got this from Napa. We're going to start by pulling back the uh, terminal cover on the positive side of the battery. We're going to hook up our battery tester. Now this one is polarity sensitive. And you see the battery tester is, powers itself right up. Now we're going to go right into the battery, which is to test the battery. We're going to select automotive battery now this is a regular lead acid battery we're gonna go by cold cranking amps and now in this case this battery is 850 cold cranking amps and we're gonna press the enter button to test the battery And we got a good battery. 12.1 volts at 839 cold cranking amps. This battery is at 98% of its cranking ability. And wouldn't be surprised by that because this battery was brand new uh, at the end of uh, January. Alrighty. So now this battery tester has also got a uh, built-in multimeter. However, I am going to show you how to check your charging system using a voltmeter instead of this. <laughs> so now what we're going to do, I'll fire it up and I will show you uh, what to look for when putting your voltmeter on. So I'm going to just set you guys down for a second. I'll start it up and I'll bring you guys back. Now we got it running. We got 14.8 volts across the battery. That's good. I'm gonna go turn the headlights on, show you what we get. Lights on now. Reading really didn't change much. So that indicates that our alternator is working properly. Now, if you had a low reading, say anywhere you know 10, 11 volts, that would indicate that your alternator is not charging. However, in this case, alternator is working just fine. So, thanks for watching, and I'll throw a link in the description to this battery cleaner, as well as a nice, inexpensive, good quality battery tester. So, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.